Hello and welcome back to News Minutes, the 10th of January 2013 and right now it's time for a really quick general gaming news update. In this episode, we're having a look at the next Pokemon games coming up for the 3DS later this year, Terra's free to play announcement, a tease of the Cyberpunk 2077 teaser and more. Starting with Pokemon, Nintendo announced just a day or so ago that two major Pokemon games for the 3DS will be coming our way this October, Pokemon X and Pokemon Y. Now when I say they're coming our way in October, I really mean it. They're actually releasing them in the Americas, Europe, Japan and Australia at the same time. I don't think I need to tell you how amazing that is. The biggest change in these new Pokemon titles is definitely the game's transition to a fully 3D world. In the trailer shown, you can see they now use different camera angles both in and out of combat, pan, zoom and more, and I think it's absolutely great. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against how the other Pokemon games were done, but I do think it's about time for some change. The only other information revealed to us thus far would be the identities of the three starter Pokemon. Chespin, the grass type, Fennekin, the fire type, Froki, the water type, and then as a bonus, the two legendaries, Xerneas and Ivaltil, I think? The names are a little bit tough. I will again say that I am in fact super excited about this. The 3DS has been out for a good long time and this is actually the first Pokemon game being made for it to make full use of all it has to offer. It's gonna be grand. You can read all about Pokemon X and Y below, watch the entire Nintendo Direct episode in which they were announced and be sure to let me know if you own a 3DS and plan on picking either of these up. I know I am as soon as I can. Next up, remember Terra? That visually stunning, fast-paced, combat-focused action MMO that released a while back did reasonably well then kinda just disappeared? Well this February it's back in a big and kind of expected way. A free-to-play way. Not that it actually went anywhere in the first place, but you get what I'm saying. Long story short, it's going free-to-play in February. En masse promise us the real Terra experience and not some watered-down trial version. There will still be a system where you can pay if you want and get extras and pre Previous owners will be upgraded to veteran status, receiving bonuses to character slots and bank tabs. Current subscribers will be moved to the Terra Club membership, receiving daily bonuses until their subscription expires, at which point they'll be knocked down to veteran. We are also being promised amazing new content for PvPers and PvEers come February, so that's great as well. The exact date of the changeover hasn't been revealed yet, but if you are interested you can read all about it below. Are any of you interested? The game did look great to me, even at launch, but nowadays the subscription fees really are a turn off. I might check this new Terra Rising thing out. I mean their free to play system does seem ethical and that combat does indeed seem like a blast. Who knows, it could be fun. Before jumping into the smalls, if any of you are as interested as I am in Cyberpunk 2077, you'll want to hang around the internet today. We've been teased with a couple of shots from the new teaser that should be coming soon and I can't wait. It's only a couple of hours away and the YouTube channel where it should appear can be found linked on your screens right now. With that done, let's have a look at a rather long list of smalls. First up, I will mention that I'm going to be covering the CES news in the next Newsman I do. I just wanted to wait for the dust to settle before jumping into it. Then there's a pretty cool new Indie Royale bundle to check out. Daisy Standalone has been delayed. Eve and Dust 514 are merging today. There's yet another new trailer for Final Fantasy A Realm Reborn to check out. And, along with that trailer, closed beta signups are now open. Planescape Torment Spiritual Successor has been confirmed, a new Fallout game is being teased by 3 Dogs voice actor, of all people, XCOM Enemy Unknown's second wave DLC is available, right here on YouTube you can watch a SimCity introduction trailer and lastly, read all the changes in the latest StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm beta update. That's it for this episode, check back here soon for more, subscribe if you haven't already, like the video and all that other good stuff and most importantly, happy waiting for that cyberpunk trailer, happy that.